So basically what's happening is I'm taking a few short days break um, and I took, I took Maud down to the Pitt Rivers Museum in Oxford and then we're exploring the surrounding area and uh, that's brought us to Uffington White Horse and now this um, Wayland Smithy um, Long Barrow um, and just enjoying a bit of time out countryside wrapping ourselves around and immersing ourselves in a bit of history. This morning I've brought you to Uffington White Horse which is um, a Bronze Age sculpture about 3,000 years old and um, Every year they do a little bit of repair, widening of the chalk and I've been roped into um, smashing down some of the rocks and um, helping to uh, help out with the preservation with this ancient site. So once again we find ourselves back in the uh, footsteps of the Stone Age and I'm doing some work. <laughs> This reminds me of something in one of your pies, Maud. One of my pies? <laughs> Cheeky. Well, look at that. I've had a hand in the preservation of the Uffington White Horse. Wow. I'm currently working on the inner back leg. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm blowing the blowing stone, of course. <laughs> and the point of that is? Because it's called a blowing stone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did good there, Maud. Thanks very much. Shall I have a go? Yes. I'm going to put the lips around this. I dread to think. <laughs> 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 Which hole is it coming out of? That's I what no I idea. need to know. I think we should get on with our journey. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> so just a mile away from the Uffington White Horse, what we have here is we have Wayland Smithy, which is a 5,000 year old um, Neolithic uh, burial long barrow. So let's go and have a look and see what we've got. I love the entrance. goes back quite an impressive distance but we have a small amount of entrance in here look and um, we have a left hand side and a right hand side to this that's a small chamber room on the left the one directly in front of us and then another one in on the right hand side here and this is the view looking out so surrounding the chamber there's some wonderful old beech trees bit of a nut <laughs> Now for something a little bit different. Um, we're in Stratford-upon-Avon and Maud is uh, designing today. So consequently, she's taking me to where? Uh, the birthplace of Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. Well. Another famous William. Another famous William, but on this account, this fellow was a, a bard. <laughs> he was a social, if, if he was here today, it would be king of social media, I'm sure. But um, first of all, we're going to have a look at his birthplace, which I think is going to be a little bit interesting, um, but I'm not entirely sure in which way. So stay tuned and we'll go and find out. Well, here we have him. 
Good morning, William. You can find in the sunshine this morning. Is this the place we're looking for, Maud? I believe it is. It looks old enough. 1536. Well, that's when he was born, so I expect he's older than that. Well. Would you like to die in Maud? I'd love to. Still in the little low board? Just a bit. I can't even stand up properly. <laughs> head on in there then. Without banging your head. I'm fine by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Opinion board? It's a cool building. It really is, isn't it? Especially with the amount of history inside it. Could you say it fairly self being whisked back in time? Oh, totally. Well, yeah. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah. Not thousands of years, but no, quite nice well, to go hundreds. back 500, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Not quite as far back as you're used to. <laughs> Oh, arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon who is already sick and pale with grief that thou hurt me not far more fair than she. It is my lady! It is my love! Oh, how she knew she were! She speaks it, she says nothing. What of this? For I discourses, I will answer it. I am too bold. It is not to me she speaks. <laughs> Two of the fairest stars in all the heaven between their spears till they return. See how she leaves her cheek upon her hand. Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand that I might touch that cheek. Romeo. She speaks. Oh, speak again, great angel. Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or, if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love and I'll no longer be a Catholic. Well, they ended up here, so I think it's time we got back on with the journey, don't you guys? We're going to head off to the Pitt Rivers Museum in Oxford now. As you can see, things are really nicely displayed. Nice and light. Good quality... Um, presentation and information. So Tom, is it true that they've got a three-eyed dinosaur in here? Three-eyed dinosaur? Yeah, it's called Jethinkosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear they've got a deer with no eyes? No, darling. No idea. <laughs> so here you go, guys. This is the entrance to the Pitt Rivers Museum. Now that is an interesting layout, you have got to admit. Right. So I'm just gonna take you down to one place to start off with that I find really worthwhile. It's a showcase called The Methods of Making Fire. Yeah. So these are the fire plows that we're looking at here. 
which is a tricky, tricky technique. I've tried it and succeeded at it, but it definitely isn't what I'd describe as my favoured method. But that's probably because I'm not in an area that has a lot of bamboo. So that's the starting grid. On the opposite side, what we have is we have a lot more of the um, bow drill techniques. And that moves on into hand drill techniques. The thing I'm going to show you next, I couldn't believe it when I saw this. Um, and I possibly still don't believe it, but it's in front of me, so let's have a look. It's in here. I want you to look at this sphere here and um, let's try and get into some detail right, like that because what you've got is you've got a ball which is highly decorated and it goes in 11 layers so that means that the second ball isn't attached to the outer ball and then the third ball isn't attached to the second ball and so on and so on and so on can we even imagine, in any way, shape or form, the time that has gone into that? So I've just come up onto level two, because there's three levels to explore. Snowshoes. Really nicely made stuff. Snow goggles. Ice shoes. What are you looking at here then, Tom? So this, this is all bling, essentially. This is all necklaces made out of teeth, claws, quills, and bone. Um, and, I mean, check it out. See what they've got here. They've got beetle wing cases down here. Um, hundreds and hundreds of different types of teeth, claws. Much the same, claws on there. Yeah. It takes a technique to actually bind them on there like that, doesn't it? Yeah, so those are jaguar claws. Here's Blimey. one for you, Will. Grizzly bear claws. That's pretty neat. North American. And it just keeps going. Just so intricate. Look at this. Look at it. just asked me if I can have a look at something and possibly identify what it is so I'll show you what have we got going on here then Maud so these are memento more and these are made from human hair uh, they were very much a keepsake after losing a loved one especially in Victorian times they are pretty beautiful aren't they I think they're stunning yeah. I actually wish I knew how to do that <laughs> Maybe a new skill, new hobby, yeah. like I need another. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this was a day out. Maud did ask me if I wanted to go to the uh, Cambridge Museum, and I said I'd prefer to go to Oxford and come to the Pitt Rivers Museum. Um, and with a view that we were going to spend all day in here, and I can tell you I could come here for a whole week easily. Um, yeah, just... So it's stunning. I just want to keep showing you things. So we're in the jewellery section. Imagine wearing that. Well, this even. Get around the back here and look at it. Check this dude's sword out. Oh. 
I mean, what are you going to do with that? <laughs> As you can see here, a little bit of black powder. Something I've spent quite a bit of my time making flints for. So I think you're getting it, but that's why you have to come here because everything's behind glass, which makes filming horrible in reflection of well, basically because you're getting a reflection all the time. But um, yeah, I promised I'd share a bit with you, and here I am doing that right now. So, cheers. <laughs>